Hi everybody. This month on Angel's Travel, we are going to be doing a quick December hit. We're going to use the kettlebells and the dumbbells, hopefully we've done a little warm up, whether it's walks and range of motion. I'm going to get started right away, we're not going to waste any time. Um, you've got your watch set to functional training and um, we're going to get going right now. So we're going to start off with a deadlift row. So everything is compound movements. So um, I'm going to pick up my heavier weights and I've got some 15s here. So you do what you want to do. So we're going to start with a deadlift, take it to a row, come back up. Deadlift, row, back, up. So you've got your legs hip width apart, down, row, back, up. Four, row, back, up. When you row, you keep your elbows in and you're going to 90 degrees. Seven. Eight. Nine. I love compound movements because they work more than just one muscle group. They get your heart rate up. So I like to use a little bit heavier weights because I normally do this with a bar and some weights at the end. But we want to keep this simple so you can travel with it. And 15. So then you're going to put your weights down. You're going to pick up your lighter weights and we do some abs. This is standing core. You're going to stand on one leg, micro bend in this leg. You have your weights up here by your ears or on your shoulders and you're going to do a leg raise. And so the added weight will just help with that core working the obliques. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and other side. One, two. This also works your hip flexors.
put those weights down. Okay, so we're only doing the weights, the in between, just doing two rounds. So on with the next is squat, curl, press to your toes, followed by kettlebell swing, single arms, followed by kettlebell figure eights. And we'll go over that, okay? So squat, curl, press. I'm gonna take my 12s. So standing this time, squat, curl, press up to your toes. And two, three, four, five. Try not to swing. Six. If you don't want to come to your toes, you don't have to. Make sure you squat. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Okay. Our eight's up there. So we're going to put those down. We're going to grab our kettlebell. You can do this with a dumbbell. You don't have to use a kettlebell. With a dumbbell, you're obviously not going to switch arms. So, starting off, holding the kettlebell and up and drop it at the top. Two, three, four. So, I do something called a Russian kettlebell swing. I do not go above my head. Just shoulder height. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. You can hear me puffing and puffing. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. It's all done through the hips. Twenty. Okay. Ready for quad burn? Because the figure eights are a quad burn. It's also for the core. So I'll turn sideways. You're going to get down into a squat and you're going to figure eight. Two, three, stay low, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Proud chest. Don't let your lower back round out. Three, two, one. Awesome. Back to squat curl presses. Picking up your weights. And you ready? Squat curl press toes. And two, three. I realize I'm tall. So some of my arms are getting cut off video. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, up on the toes. 15. Good. Okay. Kettlebell swings. Next. I'm going to turn sideways so you can watch my form. Here we go. Start your swing. And then drop the weight at the top. Drop your hand at the top. Never drop your hand at the bottom. You can see I'm hip hinging. Again. Seven. If you have lower back issues, you can do a little bit more of a squat, but it's not intended to be that way because your momentum is coming from the hips. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, where are we at here? 158. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Good, so we're gonna put your weights down and we're gonna do some core bicycles. 90 degrees, elbows out and crunch. Sideways, over, looking over the side of your thighs. So around, peeking around, keeping your elbows wide. Knees into your chest and 
around. You're going to take a nice big stretch up and out. So there you have it. So that is your workout for this month for Ageless Thrival Living. And as of December, it is a really quick and dangerous workout. It does a lot of muscle groups, a lot of body parts. You should feel it tomorrow. Let me know what you think, and we will see you in the new year. Enjoy your December. <laughs> Take care, and thank you so much for following. <laughs> Bye for now.